today I'm here with my September TBR for 2019. If you are new to my channel then you don't know that my mom actually picks my TBR every month and she always has some sort of theme as to why she picks the books that she does. So this month's theme is solely based off of one book that she read and really wanted me to read. So without further ado, let us get started. So the book that I'm talking about is Caraval and this is by Stephanie Garber and the entire theme that she chose for this month was the circus or fall festivals. The books will make sense once you see them but this was the reason behind this theme. So this follows two sisters Scarlett and Tella who have never left the island that they grew up on with their very cruel father. Their father has arranged a marriage for Scarlett. Scarlett is convinced that she will never be able to go see the once a year performance called Caraval where the audience actually participates in the show. But then one day Scarlett receives an invitation to Caraval. Scarlett and Tella end up going to the show and that's when Tella is kidnapped and it is revealed that the whole theme of the Caraval that year is the first person to find Tella is the winner. So Scarlett decides that she is going to save her sister before it's too late and it's the story of that. But my mom really loved the book so she was like you need to read it and so she based all the other books off of that. The next book that she chose is Water for Elephants by Sarah Groon because elephants are found at the circus. This follows a man named Jacob who ends up hopping on a train one day and inadvertently runs away with the circus. Jacob has a lot of veterinary experience so he uses that in order to join the circus and he befriends an elephant named Rosie. He also starts to fall for Marlena who is the wife of August, a very cruel animal trainer and it's basically the story of him trying to navigate the circus. I've heard it's a really good story. I know that it's a movie with Robert Pattinson. Have I seen it? No but I've had this book for the longest time now, so it needs to be read and elephants are part of the circus and it takes place in the circus, therefore it follows the theme. The next book she chose was The Magicians by Lev Grossman. I feel like this is self-explanatory why she chose it to be in the circus. Magicians are in the circus. We're catching on, people. The book follows Quentin, who is a math genius. He's secretly fascinated by a fantasy series for children that features a magical land called Philroy. He's unexpectedly admitted into an elite school of magic which holds the secret behind the land of Filvery and he quickly discovers that the land is a lot darker than he originally thought and it's like the story of that. I've heard mixed reviews about this. A lot of people really like it. A lot of people don't like it so much so we're gonna see where I fall. The next book that she chose is a little bit of a stretch but we'll go with it. It's called The Fall by Bethany Griffin and she chose this because fall festivals, get it, fall? Mm -hmm. it let her have her moment. And this follows a haunted house called the House of Usher and a girl named Madeline who is part of the Usher family and basically anybody who lives in this house ends up spiraling out of control and it's like her turn to spiral out of control. She thinks that she is going to be able to destroy the magic in this house, the demons, whatever is haunting it, but then she wakes up in a coffin and it's the story of her trying to figure that shit out. I've literally heard nothing about this from anybody, so could not tell you if it's trash or if it's good, but if we read it this month, I'll let you know. The next book that she chose is Starry Night by Isabel Gills, and this is because you go to the carnival at night. And this follows a 15 year old named Ren who falls in love with her brother's friend, and it's like the story of them falling in love. You know, your typical rom-com kind of thing. No idea if this is good either, have not heard anybody talk about it, so I guess we'll see once we read it. And then the last book that she chose I think is hilarious. Nobody else is gonna think it's funny because it pertains to my life and not yours, but it is called Panic by Sharon M. Draper, and she chose this because my boyfriend Ricardo panics anytime he has to go on a ride because he's scared of heights. So, see, it's not funny for you guys, but it's funny for me because I like to see him panic. And this follows two girls who end up going to the mall one day and one of them is offered something by a stranger that changes her life forever and it also changes the lives of the town. So I'm guessing that she gets kidnapped or something like that because, like, I mean, panic. I would panic if I got kidnapped, but 
I honestly have no idea. We're gonna see if it is a kidnapping story. I really hope it is a kidnapping story. I don't know why, but I really enjoy those, which sounds creepy, but I promise it's not creepy. All right guys, so that is my TBR for September 2019. I honestly do not know how much I'm actually going to read this month because I'm starting teacher's college. So I have no idea what the workload is. I have no idea about any of the classes since it's the first year I'm going. We're a little bit nervous, but we're gonna hope that it's a good time. Let me know down below what you plan to read this month or if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. And I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>